Here I have a new scene and I'm ready to start making avatar items. The first thing that you want to do is go to your Rec Room Avatar Tools tab and click Set Up File. What that will do is it'll bring in the avatar, it'll set up some collections uh, that you can start working with right away. Now by default, everything is stacked on top of itself. So that's why this kind of looks a bit weird. So I'm going to, for now, turn off the bean body so I can just look at the full body. And it's showing all the LODs together, so I'm just going to look at LOD zero. If I want to bring in some test outfits, like if I want to bring, turn on the pants and the t-shirt so I can model those. Now you'll, you'll notice that because I set my LOD toggle before bringing these outfit items in, everything's still stacked on top. So I can just hit the LODs zero button and it will only display that. So that's the basics of getting your file set up. And then uh, what you want to do is just start modeling. You don't have to worry about putting your items in the hierarchy. So let's make an earring. I'm going to add just a very simple torus. And this is way too high resolution. So let's bring this down. Yeah, something like this should be plenty. Yeah, I think this is a good resolution. Yeah, scale this down. I'll move this up over here. Now, normally I would do this in edit mode, um, and I would ex I'll explain why in a second. All right, so I've made this earring. What I need to do is I need to, to name it. This is going to be full body item. And if you go to our documentation, we have the specs of all of our naming convention. But let's just call this hoop earring. And then it needs a suffix of what the item type is. And in this case, I know that it's ear. Um, again, you can see the documentation for all of the naming conventions and the different item types, what they're called. Let's add a LOD. Basically, we need to make the, the other LODs for this, so I'll just do that real quick. So now I have three LODs, one, two, three, so zero, one, and two. And usually LOD1, since that's what displays as the highest LOD in mobile devices and, and Quest VR, this one, we usually have this one be pretty close to the same resolution, just a little bit lower for LOD0. Now that these are ready, let's select these three meshes and click Create Avatar Item. We got a little error here, so we're going to see if it found anything wrong with it. Okay, yes, it looks like... It noticed that it was an ear item, and you can always change this after the fact, but if you've named it correctly, it will automatically recognize that. It knows that it's full body, and it will put some weights on it. It is saying that it has unapplied transforms, so the pivot point of uh, these meshes needs to be down at the origin. It needs to be reset. So I'm going to select this and hit Fix. And then there was something it didn't like about LOD1 and LOD2. Let's, let's see what, what happens. I'm going to manually move these up into the collection. Uh, usually we don't get this error, but let's see if we can figure it out. Um, OK, so it looks like the first one it did correctly. The other two LODs didn't quite go through the right process. That's OK. It's telling us, oh, it has unapplied transforms and it's missing the armature modifier. So a lot of the errors that you have, you can run these fix it buttons and it will just take care of it. If certain fix it buttons, if you're in edit mode, it won't let you run them. You might have to go back to object mode. Um, but I'm just going to come down and hit fix. And we can see that it added the armature modifier that I was missing. And let's see now if I scrub through the animation, does it follow? Okay, so it looks like the weighting was not correctly applied. That's okay. We can select the mesh and let's go weights from presets. And let's choose ear standard as the preset weighting. Great. 
Okay. Yep. And we can see that it deforms with the ear as the ear is uh, changed in scale and proportion. So now we just need to copy the weights from LED zero to one and two. And that we can do with our weighting transfer button. Perfect. And since this is just a really simple asset, it's just working. Now, I made just the left side. I'll, most items don't have a separate left and right. We only have currently two uh, item types that there are left and right side items. One type is gloves or what we call wrist items, and the other is earrings or ear items. What we need to do is make the mirrored side, and you could do that manually if you wanted to have asymmetrical details, or once you've made an avatar item and your objects are skinned and everything's working well on them, you can click the button right underneath create avatar item that is create left side item. And what that will do is it will add a dot R and a dot L uh, to the original and some duplicates and it'll mirror it and you know it just does everything for you. So if you have symmetrical left and right side items, you can just hit that button both for wrist items and for ear items and it will just make that copy. All right, so this is an abnormal thing. Most uh, things like shirts, um, pants, all those items, you're just going to have three LODs, but with these two item types, you'll have a left side and a right side. And so it'll look like this. You can see under validation that there's no errors that are telling us we need to, to fix things. We can see that we're under our try count and everything is looking good. If I want to export, I would just need to choose the path that I want to, to export to. I would recommend making a subfolder within where you keep your Blender file and just save your, your exports in there so that you can move that then over to Avatar Studio. And now, because there's no errors, um, I can just make sure my items are checked and click Export Avatar Items. And I found that the error was that I had not yet saved my Blender file. So something very simple there. Just make sure that you've saved the file and it, it has an initial name. I just saved it as a file called Hoop Earring Test. And we can see here is the FBX that was exported. I don't need a bean version of this because in Avatar Studio, you can take the full body of any of the head item types and it will just apply correctly to bean. You could make a bean version if you wanted to, but you don't need to. You can just plug this one in. So that's all we need to do. Congratulations, you've made your first avatar item and all of the LODs needed to export it and have it in Rec Room.